Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you three different ways that you can use still images to create transitions in your iMovie projects. If you're interested in that, keep on watching. Welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. On my channel, I'm doing YouTube Explained Simply and video editing made easy. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Would love to have you be part of the online family. I also have channel memberships available on my channel. So if you're interested in getting even more, make sure you check the down bar below and special shout out to all of my community members, especially my Platinum Squad members. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into the computer. Um, I'm gonna be using PicMonkey today. Of course, you could be using GIMP or any other photo editing program. You can even use Keynote, whatever you want. This is just an example so that I can get a quick illustration of what an image is gonna look like. So let me do that. And, all right, so I've started with a standard uh, 1920 by 1080, which is usually the size that you're gonna have for a 16 by nine wide video. So um, this is a standard one. Let's go ahead and throw a color on here doesn't really matter too much what what is on here so let's go ahead and I'm just gonna pick a recently used color and then because the clip that I have I'm gonna do an overlay real quick a graphic I'm gonna add these clouds I'm just gonna add a few of them real quick it's gonna command copy and paste just a few of them so we've got four of these rain clouds here all right so this is good enough so I'm gonna go ahead and just download this first one I want all of my layers groups. Then I should be able to move them all and then move them here. Download this guy and move these guys. Come on, all the way down to the bottom. And yeah, that looks good. We're gonna download that. All right, we're doing this so we have uh, a few different items to choose from. So now I'm gonna bring these into, um, into an iMovie project. So let me do that. All right, so now I'm in an iMovie project. It just has a single clip in it right now and then the three photos that we have. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna come down to my timeline real quick. I'm going to extend this out so it's longer and then throw a break right here in the center of it. And then we are gonna take these photos. We're gonna start with this one, the three in a row. We're just gonna drag them down, use them in between the clips. And then I am going to shorten these all right, so once you place those three photos and just shorten them up to like the shortest amount of time possible, you can actually just play them back and it's going to look sequentially like motion. And then it goes on to the next thing. All right, so let's go ahead and reset and then we're gonna take this image here with the center and then we are actually going to do a crop on it before we bring it down into the timeline. So we'll hit crop and then we're going to select the area. We're just gonna bring this in because we just want the center basically right here and we'll make these very large across the center that looks good we're gonna hit okay we're gonna throw this down here in between those two clips let's take a look at what's gonna happen first you're gonna see it doesn't fill the top and bottom and that's okay we are going to make sure we select this clip go back to the crop option now we're going to do a cropped fill sorry we're gonna do a Ken Burns we're gonna bring it from here to there, you're gonna see then there should be some uh, motion that happens. It's just very, very slow. <laughs> you could certainly shorten up that clip. It's gonna look like this. All right, so if you saw that, there is the action that's going. Okay, I feel like we're not quite getting the motion, so let's try this again real quick. Let's try this. There we go. So there's a second way that you could create a transition with just some, adding some movement by doing a crop and then a cropped fill with the Ken Burns effect. And then the third option we're gonna go ahead and go into is, let's go ahead and reset all, all of this back. We're gonna come back to the crop and we're gonna go ahead and hit reset. Okay, last transition that we're gonna work on, we're gonna go back to the item with the three uh, clouds and the ones kind of right here in the center. Just gonna make sure we select this one, then we're gonna go up to the crop icon up here. We're gonna do a Ken Burns on it, but we are gonna start um, really large. Make sure it's really big. And then on the end point, what we wanna do is we wanna bring it in super small. Let's see if we can get those edges. Come on, here we go. And we're gonna come in super, tight on one of these clouds here. So hopefully if we do this correctly, 
should almost look like blue is going to fill the entire screen. I think let's do it like this. I think this is going to look pretty cool. All right, so if you kind of see the preview, we're just going to kind of hover over it with our mouse. We're going to zoom in on that cloud, and then it's going to go right into the blue. I think we can go even farther. So let's try it again. So the cool thing about this is because it's going to take up the entire screen, you can kind of cut to whatever you want, and it looks really intentional. There we go. Let's take a peek here. If we go back and look at this and play it through, it should zoom into that blue cloud. Boom. Just like that. So that is a third way that you can do transition with just a still image. Once again, I want to say thank you to all of my channel members, especially my Platinum Squad. Thank you so much for being a supporter of my channel. I appreciate it. Also, big news, iMovie Made Easy launches October 16th. Make sure you check the down bar below for details on that. I'm so excited to get this to you. October 16th, launch date. So very, very excited. Make sure you look for that. As always, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.